Nice. For me, because I went to see JoJo Siwa last night. Okay. Yeah. Do you know who that is? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, everyone, it's JoJo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, today I am here with Austin McBroom. Did I say it right? Austin McBroom? Yes, you did. Yeah. I'm here with Austin McBroom. Bro, he's terrified right now. No. You don't know who that is. She's a YouTube star. My nine year old loves her. So, uh, how to, it was oh, her, shit, how to go to JoJo Siwa's birthday concert last night. Okay. At the Microsoft Center, whatever the fuck that is. I know because Bert ran into her at the airport. Bert so loves her crazy. too, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Because Bert has young daughters too. Yeah. Um, she's all about positivity. Yeah. Believe and achieve. Fun times. I'll upload a video later. But is it also like, is it all like saccharine, <laughs> like Disney stuff, or is it sincere? Oh, it's as saccharine as it gets. Oh, I don't like that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, she was taking old Queen songs and reworking the words. Cleaning them up. Oh, she's like those meme people. Oh, she was. She's cleaning. Yeah. She's toning down Queen songs. Toned down some Queen songs. Oh, this woman's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you take someone's art and and appropriate it and make it like uh, take out all the yeah. all the energy? Yeah, she. Uh, this is corporate culture at its worst. But she's doing it for three year olds, bro. So? Just like five-year-olds and 3 They don't need to be listening to Queen. I love her. There it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. She loves Freddie Mercury, bro. What's the problem? No, she doesn't. If she loved him, she'd respect him. Oh, she's fucking 12. She know. Oh, she's 16. Excuse me. Yeah. She doesn't know any better. She well, does know better. How, how smart were you when you were 16? Smart enough not to try to rewrite Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she doesn't have a say in it. I bet whoever's pulling the string. I bet she doesn't have a say in it. I bet whoever's pulling the string. I bet she doesn't have a say in it. I bet whoever's pulling the strings. Gets her to rewrite. That makes it. it even more nefarious. Of course, the Disney people are the 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 the, the censors. But Whoever it is, the producers. Wait, am I wrong? Yeah. Where's seizing control of the media we have scientists working for us we have people in every field intelligent competent ambitious people who have no guilt who have no shame and who have removed the filthiness of the judeo-christian ethic from their entire lifestyle the joe rogan experience podcast is brought to you by the fleshlight the best thing that you could fuck outside of a real human being <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Feels way better when you fuck a plastic vagina. And that's yes. what we're saying. The it's, Fleshlight it, it's an awesome product. It's wicked good. Yeah. It's very good. It's good for extracting loads from your body. Right. And if you enter in the code name Rogan, you will get a discount. Discount on this. Or we're, we're also You've attached your name to blowing loads. I have. Plug to the Fleshlight. If you're not using something like the Fleshlight, you, if you're not jerking off, if you're not constantly draining your balls, you will get distorted. You'll get in trouble. You'll get in trouble. You'll get in trouble. You, you, this you will like save drug. marriages, yeah, and, and it will knew, save relationships. You knew your thing. Uh, you knew your thing was Get your man I, a flashlight. Anybody who wants your money, they're your enemy. When you get into a secret society of spirit worshippers. That some call the Illuminati. It's important to understand that the key thing of the conspiracy is that it's done in secret.